Your signature scent can say so much about you. So if you're buying a perfume or a cologne for someone on Valentine's Day, you'll want to get it right. Beauty expert Grace Gold joins us now with the scents on scents. Grace, cologne and perfume are so personal. How do you know where to begin if you've never given it as a gift before? Well, you know, first of all, fragrance is one of the most romantic and sexiest gifts that you can give for Valentine's Day. And people think of it because it is one of those top classic gifts, right? We think of flowers and candy and fragrance. And now is the most popular time of year to buy. So women like to treat themselves to a new scent or men do like to buy one for their Valentine. And yes, there are so many fragrances out there. Where do you start? Well, I can tell you women love and know Vera Wang. And her princess fragrance line is the number number one seller in her whole portfolio. It's feminine, modern, always sophisticated and stylish. This is really free-spirited uh, for the magical, whimsical, youthful spirit that resides in all of us regardless of our age. And her latest is Princess Noir that I have on the table with me. This is perfect for Valentine's Day because it's really a luxuriously sensual scent. It embodies that fearless confidence, that effortless chic that women love, and it's modern with a sensual edge, which is what you really want to look for. Uh, and I think it's great as the last thing to put on for that romantic night of the year. When it comes to applying perfume, is it true that you should put it on your pulse points or do you like spritz it and then walk through the spritz? Yes, well, there's a lot of different ways to apply it. So number one, a lot of us like to rub our wrists. You don't want to do that. You actually want to tap the wrists because what happens is when you rub, you interrupt and break up the top notes. And you want to enjoy those top notes. Actually, in the Princess Noir, I love the pear and mandarin top notes. There's floral accents of freesia and jasmine, as well as a hint of patchouli and chocolate. You know, us ladies love our chocolate, so you can enjoy that in this fragrance. Uh, now, you can apply straight to the pulse points if you want a deeper fragrance, maybe for the evening time, right? You want to enjoy it. Or another tip is you can actually spritz once or twice and then walk through like you mentioned. You do that if you want the fragrance to smell lighter. Uh, that's a very effective way. Maybe you want to wear it during the daytime that way. There's also a few tips I have to make it last longer as well. Uh, so you can apply to the pulse points. Put petroleum jelly on first though. Petroleum that's jelly. a nice little secret. Yeah, so you put a little petroleum jelly maybe on your wrist, the inside of your elbow, behind your knees, your uh, ankle and then you spray and that's going to make your fragrance last much longer as well. Uh, another trick I like for Valentine's Day, you want a very sexy way to wear it, well spray it in your hairbrush, brush it through your hair. Uh, it's a very sensual way oh, to wear it. And then you also want it to last longer, okay? So heat, humidity, sunlight, this will turn your fragrance faster. You want to keep it in a place that's away from the sun, like on your vanity that's in a cool and dry place as well. Uh, and I love the bottle, okay? That's why I like to put it on my vanity because this bottle is actually inspired by the beautiful bodice design of the Vera Wang dresses which we know and love so you can show a fragrance like this off on your vanity. Uh, you can buy something like this for yourself, treat somebody you love. What I love about this fragrance is that it's also just $45 and you can get it at Kohl's. Grace Gold, thank you for helping us make sense out of scents. Happy Valentine's Day. You too. He is a chocolate